Hello indeed and welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to give a couple of updates on some other little tweaks I've been making uh, to BMO. Nothing too much to talk about other than how to print. Uh, I've made a couple of changes to the way BMO is being printed. Uh, instead of post finishing and doing a lot of painting, I'm just trying to find a filament that prints in kind of a BMO color right out of the box. Um, and this is one example of what I've done. This is actually kind of a metallic color, which is kind of cool. I wouldn't say it's an exact match for BMO, but it prints uh, it, uh, without a lot of effort afterwards. And it's kind of fun to do it that way with, um, with just using any filament you have. But the, the, the drawback is you have to have the different colors as opposed to just one color and then painting it. Um, this is another color that I, I experimented with. Uh, this one's probably too dark, this one's probably too light, but either one will work. And they're both printed on an Ender 5 Plus, like that. And in PLA, there's no support material used, um, or no secondary support material used. For uh, the smaller BMOs, I would use um, ABS and HIPS to, as a support material because that separates very cleanly from the ABS. But uh, since the Ender is a single extruder, I just went with one and it, it prints pretty well. Most of the issues are probably going to be these rounded corners are a little tricky. But overall, I think it worked out pretty well. Made some changes to the arms to print them easier. So the hands are printed separately now, so the alignment's a little easier on the printer to print, and plus you can adjust the, the, the angle of the hands, kind of a secondary bonus. But these were two colors that I, I chose to start with. Now, I had a bunch of other filament laying around, so I figured I would just give those a try as well, because I want to play around with the ender. And uh, one of the colors uh, is this cool gold you know I had this gold I mean the golden BMO award Hello. Uh, other than that it's basically the same uh, print just in gold metallic filament so you can print almost in any color it kind of works out in the, in the long run with whatever you want to use got some nice gold BMO lettering look at that I like that, it's a pretty high-end thing, and uh, I don't know if you can tell from here, but this is actually real gold. Well, it's not, it's just shiny filament, sorry guys. Uh, but it, it is neat that the metallics work so well. This, this is kind of metallic-y, it's not as metallic. So um, I also had laying around this large roll of pink filament. I'm not sure why I have it, but I figured I'd give it a try. And lo and behold, we wound up with a pink BMO, which, hello, hello to everybody again. Uh, looks pretty cool, I think. Got some, uh, a little bit of this uh, shiny pink filament as well, a little bit more of a purple color, but it's a, or a very light pink, whatever. This is almost a hot pink, but works pretty good, I think. Doesn't BMO look pretty nice in pink? But it, it reminded me of something. I wasn't sure what, you know, but then I had this thought that kind of a Princess Bubblegum Edition BMO, right? That's, kind of works. So there you go. I mean, with uh, any kind of filament, you know, it works for BMO. So we have our Princess Bubblegum, our uh, Golden BMO Award, and the standard green-ish BMO. They all look pretty good. Hello. And they all say hello at some point. Hello. So, I mean, I think this is a successful print with uh, a, a large scale printer. They were printed uh, on, on the glass bed uh, with like a hairspray. Um, you might want to use some type of you know gripping material like a PEI or something the the edges here can kind of pull up and this is a massive print and no matter how well you get it to stick the force even on PLA the, the shrinkage just wants to rip that thing off the bed so um, that's just something I'll, I'll try next to see if I can get a better 
better grip for the, the print. But overall, they, they turn out pretty well in one shot. But let's say you don't have a printer of that size. I, I tried to simplify the print somehow. This is actually a two-piece print. Um, the top and the bottom are held together um, with um, little tabs that allow it to come apart. However, even that's a lot of work to print. Um, so, it's, it's two pieces. But that would require some finishing along these lines, but I'm not sure how that would turn out. You were probably either going to have to get a very good glue line that's not too noticeable, so this might just work as is, or polish it and paint it like you did for the other ones. Um, but that's not that fun. I like fun. Um, however, it, it is an option to just cut this guy in half and glue them again. Maybe these little tabs that will help snap them together. It works. Um, this one's actually four pieces. He's chopped in, in the middle here. Um, you can kind of see the tabs in the middle there. But I'm not going to pull them apart. Again, it looks pretty good. If you could glue that well enough, it'd probably be sufficient for your needs. And that would print on a very small printer because each piece is one quarter of the size. Uh, it would probably fit on my, like my Flash Forge, which I do the little beamers with. Doo -doo. And then I could use ABS and hips and, and get a better print. Um, just playing around with that. So there are a lot of different options for printing BMO. But give it a try uh, with whatever you got. Um, and uh, I do have another project that I think I think will make better use of uh, the, the, the chopping. And that is a top secret project that I will reveal next and I think it's pretty cool and just tune in for that and we'll see how to maybe not necessarily have to print all these things in one single color. Alright folks, have fun printing with whatever printer you decide to use. Uh, until then, um, just keep an eye out for our top secret project and uh, Bima, why don't you say goodbye to people.